Today I am going to teach about a very interesting topic in Verilog HDL, Verilog data types. So before I start my session, I just recall the term data types. So what is data type? So data type in the sense the user can define the data. So which type of data is utilized in the program? For example, integer value or floating or character or string. So likewise, we declare the data types in C language program. So likewise, in Verilog HDL also, the user can represent the data types. So different data types are available in Verilog HDL. So how the data types are utilized inside the program. These are all the things we discussed today's session. So let's move on the session. Verilog data types. So the data type in Verilog is to represent data storage element and also transmission element. So in Verilog HDL, the data types is used in two places. The first one is a data storage element like bit in flip-flop and another purpose is transmitting the element so like wire so wire is mainly used to connect between logic gate and also sequences circuits so data types in very log are divided into two types so one is called as a net and another one is called as registers so these two we discussed in upcoming slides The next one is so Verilog HDL is support four types of logic values. So what are the types of logic values? So first one is one, next one zero, then x, then z. So one is represent for logical one or true condition. The condition is true that represent in logic one, or also in it's a high voltage. It represent But also it's a false condition in voltage wise it's represent ground connection then third one x so x represent unknown values either zero or one so x represent that particular variables is assigned either zero or one then final one is that so is it represent for high impedance state so these are the four types of logic values present in Verilog HDL. Here, how the four logical values represent in timing diagrams. How these values are represent in timing diagram and simulation waveform. So the first one is the green line is represent in bottom. So this bottom side is represent zero. So logical zero value. Suppose the green line placed in the top of the diagram. So it's represent one. So logical one. Then this red box. So this red box is represent as don't care. So this place is either zero or one. So high value or low value. The next one is is that when the timing diagram, the orange line is placed middle of the portion so it's called as a high impedance state so likewise in the timing diagram represent logic 0 logic 1 and don't care value unknown value then high impedance values then in very low data types nets and variables so nets and variables or two main group of data types. So the data type is classified into two types. One is called as a net and another one is called as a variables. So which represent different hardware structure. So net and variables is represent in different hardware structure and differ in the way they are assigned and retained values. First we discuss about net. So what is net? So net in the sense just to use it to connect between hardware entities. So making connection between hardware entities. 
So just to look at this diagram. So in this diagram, we have a two logic hardware entities. So first one is a AND gate, and next one, second one is flip flop. So these two entities, you can make the connection using net. So here, so in this diagram, we have a five nets. So net 45 and net 67. So these two nets are used to connect the input of AND gate. So these two nets are transferring the data from source point to AND gates. So some other values get from source to AND gates. So it gives the input of AND gate. So after processing the AND gate, the output is connected to input of first flip flop. So this net 11. So this net 11 is used to connect the output of AND gate and input of first input of flip flop. Then net 9. So this net 9 is connected to input of second flip flop. Then net 2. So net 2 is the output of flip flop. So it's called as a net connection. Just making the connection between hardware entities. So like logic gate and hence do not store any value on its own. So the net is just transferring the data. It do not store any values. So some net data type or wire. So these are the examples of net wire try W O R. So W O R in the sense wired or try or then wired and operation try and operation try zero try one supply zero supply one and try register so these are the things example of net data types so wire is most frequently used type so among these types wire is most used data types in very low HDL. so these are the examples how to represent the wire inside the program so very low HDL program so already I told wire is nothing but just carrying the data. So single data. If you need to transfer the single data, you can use wire. So single line is enough to transfer the one bit value, for example, zero. So this zero is transfer through this single line. So it's called as a wire. So it's called as a wire. Suppose you need to transfer more than one line so more than one data so you can represent this wire like a vector so here wire within a square bracket 3 is to 0 n0 zero. so this n0 is a wire name so variable name so in this variable it carry four data so 3 is to 0 so this 3 is to 0 represent four data so it's a diagrammical representation of this instruction so wire 3 is to 0 n naught so n naught is the variable name so n of 0 n of 1 n of 2 n of 3 totally four data transfer from source point to destination point so likewise you represent based on your requirement single data in the sense wire a Suppose more than one data you need to transfer from source point to destination point, you can represent like this wire within a square bracket 3 is to 0 n naught. Now we go to registers. So what is register? Well, uh, the general definition of register is just to storing the data. So here the register represent data storage element. The example of register is flip flop. So flip flop is stored one bit data. So if you need to store more than one bit data, you can combine lot of flip flops. So it retain value till it is overridden. If the new value will enter into the flip flop, old value is override. Then keyword used to declare register data type is register. So register is a keyword. This is this two or example of a declaration of register. So rich within a square bracket three is to zero D naught. So D naught is a variable name. So this variable name carry four bit of values. So likewise, you represent zero, one, two, three. Totally four bit of values stored in a 
register so particular register if you need to increase the storing content in the sense you can use the instruction register within a square bracket 7 is to 0 d1 so d1 is a variable name so this variable is stored 8 bit of value so 7 is to 0 0 to 7 the register can be model hardware register since it can hold values between assignment that register need not always represent flip flop because it can be used to represent combinational logic so combinational logic circuit also we can use the register data type inside the programs so these two are the example of uh, register so first diagram represent single bit storage device so here i am using d flip flop so in this d flip flop it store one bit value so whatever value enter in the d so data is one suppose the data is one whenever the clock signal is hitting in the flip flop the d value is stored in a flip flop so output of d flip flop is one so this value is stored the second diagram represent it store four bit of values so here four d flip flops utilized so four clock pulse is hitting so after hitting each and every clock pulse the data is stored inside the flip flops so next we go to discuss other data types of uh, verilog hdl so first one is integer data types so integer data types or general purpose 32 bit register so 32 bit register data types so this type of uh, data types is declared using the keyword integer so this integer represent keyword whether the data is integer value or some other data types so here example is integer count so count is a values for example 4 or 5 so this value is an integer or floating values then next one is time so very low provide a time register to store simulation time so this data types is mainly used to store the simulation time a time register is declared using the time keyword so here the keyword is time and it has with at least 64 bit depending on the simulator and machine used so at least 64 bit of values you can use in the time scale so time current iphone time so this is the variable sorry here one semicolon is enough so time so time is a keyword current time so current time is a variable so likewise you declare inside the program the next one real so it's also one type of data types comes under very low hdl a real variable can store floating point suppose integer value in the sense you can use instead of real integer the user can declare the floating values the keyword is real a real variable can store floating point value can be assigned the same ways as integer on register so this float is a floating value the next one string so string is nothing but collection of character so collection of character is called as a string so they can be stored in register data types so each character in string requires one byte so each character of string is stored in one byte so eight bit of values is needed to store and is typically mentioned within a double quotes so the string is represent within a double quotes so it's a syntax within a square bracket 8 store 11 is to 0 name so this 8 represent 8 bit so this 11 is the 11 character so here i type the 11 characters so the vector format is 11 is to 0 so here so name is called as a label so here the label is hello world you just count this word letter one four five then space six 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So totally 11 characters are present in this word. So this is the comment string hello world and it record space. Concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.